Hey, oh, welcome to Patch of Day 36. Um, what would be the point of having subscribers and stuff if I didn't plug things? Um, people are wondering <coughs> why I haven't been doing these Patch of Days quite as um, often as I could, like every day. Um, and here's a game I'm working on that you can go to one of these links on for Windows. You follow this link, the ERPDEK case sensitive and Mac H. OICG7 case sensitive. Um, go check out the game I'm working on. It's in progress, so you can let me know what you think about that. All right, so for a multi band compressor, which is what we're going to um, be building today, um, another thing that Andreas was interested in was the FFFB. I think that's what he was interested in um, the fast fixed filter bank, um, <clears throat> which I guess for the um, yeah for a multi-band compressor it works really well. It can split up the signal into multiple bands, frequency bands, filters, resin resin filters, multiple. Yes, get the help on that. Alt click it because we're just gonna steal this stuff here. Our commands with these to set the um, the various gains, cues, and frequencies. So I selected the R commands with the FFFB8 is for the number of um, frequency bands. And these here, multi sliders, so I can change those. All right, so I'm just going to copy that stuff and stick it in my patch here. I can delete that one that I made before. All right, so we're going to juggle this stuff around, make some more space. Again, I'll, um, I'll use the um, SF Play as a test for this, so SF play <clears throat> and I'll make a message to open that famous jongli.aif uh, loop one comma one to start it playing. All right. And there we go. So now we're gonna have, um, we can control these frequencies. I'll just put these, click those messages to get those values in there for the moment. So we can see that we'll be able to see that um, and we'll get a different. Uh, I'll just use four of these, but we'll you know splitting the signal up into various bands. <clears throat> to do the processing on this, I think I'm going to make um, an abstraction because I'd have to make however many of these. I would have to make a separate compressor for each one. So I'll make a new object here. Um, this will be my compressor. I can have an inlet for the compressor right there. Um, a new, uh, again, we're going to make that use the average tilde, average tilde, and I can give it the message RMS again, as I did in the previous patch, patch of the day. I'll make it load that um, RMS message. Actually, I forgot to put. <clears throat> some period over which to average 500 samples is perfect and then we can load the RMS message our signal is going to go into the average um, we might want a ratio just like we did in the last one so I'll make a new multiplier for this um, average value and I guess I'll receive because I'll probably want more than one of these uh, dollar one, I mean pound one, which is going to be replaceable on the outside of this. When I use it as an abstraction, I'll be like be able to receive the zero ratio, the one ratio, the two ratio, the however many ratios I need, and I'll multiply that. Um, I guess I could start with the default value of one, and then we'll just again do the. Um, you know, the minus, the tilde minus one, I mean the, what, the exclamation mark minus one, minus tilde one, which is for the reciprocal minus. So take uh, one minus whatever that um, amplitude is measured from the average. And then we multiply the output by this said value. All right, whoops. Okay, so we'll take that and that, and that's all good. And we'll 
instead of having an outlet here, we'll make her life easier and call this Sam to uh, back. Sure. All right, so we'll save this somewhere. Save it as. Um, let's call this multi bando, multi bando. I don't know, something like that. Um, and then we can go back over here to create a multi bando. So we're going to make four of these, I guess. Multi bando with. <coughs> This will be the zeroth one. And it didn't find it, that's not a surprise. So we need to save this in the same folder, call it um, my multi band van. No, yeah, okay. And then we can just change something here. It should load. Bang, did. All right, so we've got to have a DAC here. Let's get it easy DAC. And then we're going to receive that signal that we just sent from the um, from that X, from this let me see in here send to DAC. We'll need to receive that over here. All right. So we can just make. I guess the only other thing I didn't make is these ratios. I can. Let's just. Uh, we can make a new multi slider. Or I could just copy this one. Uh, drag on the, with the alt key down. Maybe we want to change its range. One is a good place to start for the, um, for the ratio. And then I suppose we could go up to something extreme like 10 in case we want something extreme. Okay, um, then we can unpack that multi slider. I'm only going to use four for the moment so that we can send to all of those. Well, we haven't made all of those. So let's make them first. Multibando zero, and we're gonna have a multibando with a one, and we're gonna have multibando with a two, and multibando with a three. You can verify, <coughs> opening these up, that this has changed the number in that receive. <coughs> all right, I'll hook those up to the filter bank. Okay, and now we can send to those. So S0 ratio, etc. S1 ratio, uh, hello, and uh, two and three right here, two, three, okay. Ah. All right, so we can now change those ratios over here with those first four sliders. We're only using the first four sliders on all of these. So here's our multiband compressor. It sounds like this. It's very quiet at the moment. You can change the frequencies for the um, bands in the compressor. You can change the ratios. You can change the gains. the cues. Obviously, well, not necessarily obviously, but for a multiband compressor to work like a normal multiband compressor, one that you might pay money for, you'd probably want quite low cues. All right, so that it doesn't sound So it doesn't sound like filters which I don't know, that's one of the advantages to building your own. You can make one that sounds whack. All right, the other thing I suppose we could do here now that we've gone all out is that we could use this as a kind of side um, sideband, um, not compressor, but expander, I guess is more of the point. Use a sideband um, expander to modulate a second signal. Let's just give that a shot. Um, if I take this SF play, duplicate that over. I'm going to play back the Cherokee, Cherokee.aif. Um, actually, I needed the this. Well, actually, I needed this and this. 
So this is actually a technique that's kind of similar to what you might call the <coughs> sort of cross synthesis examples that you can do in 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 um, in the examples you'll see examples of cross synthesis. So we're going to take the filter bands of this sound and multiply them from the analyzed signal from these bands coming from this other player here. All right, to do that, we're going to need a second inlet. And we're not going to send our um, compressor, or the, the measurement, we're not going to multiply the measured um, amplitude. We're going to multiply the amplitudes of the, um, the, the one, that, the filter bank that's on the, um, the filter bank that's on, on the Cherokee sound. All right, and then instead of just the minus one, like I said, it's going to be like an expander. So instead of that, we'll just take the measured amplitude and multiply like so. And then we can stick this guy into here, into these sides of this abstraction we've made. This is looking a little bit ugly. Oh yeah, that's way better. Okay, so now we should be able to hear um, the Cherokee thing, assuming that those are both clicked, that's being um, filtered by the amplitudes of the, um, the uh, Zhong Leaf sound. Might need some extra, some extra gain on this. Um, it's obviously needs a little work, so let's multiply that by four. And I don't know, let's just see what happens. It's probably going to be too loud. Anyway, this is a very similar technique to the cross synthesis you can do with FFT, except that it's a lot more flexible. Um, I hope that's about it for this, this patch of day and I'll check you in the next one. Cheers.